Welcome back guys to Just Order 33! Just um, Order 33! We're obviously not her, so if you're new to this channel, she is serving a mission for the next year and a half for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, where she goes out and spreads hope, peace, love, and the gospel message um, about coming unto Christ. Lots of service. It's really fun. So, really we'll leave a link down in the description box down below where you can learn more about her what beliefs Jordan's doing. and her, um, the, the church. Yep. Okay, so we wanted to do an update on how her mission's going. She is, this is her week one of MTC, which is Mission Training Center, and she's in a Mexico Mission MTC. So she's down in Mexico. Mexico City. And she's been there for, well, since this letter, a week. It's a little bit over a week. <laughs> we only get to talk to her once a week. So we wanted to give a update and share some photos with you. Okay, so she says, basically she's really loving it. She got to meet all the other missionaries. They, she has, did she say she hasn't laughed this much in a long time? She has laughed That's harder than right she now. has ever laughed in her life. <laughs> she's learned a lot and here's the reason why she's learned a lot. So they have a pretty tough schedule. This isn't a vacation. This is like you're about the Lord's business and we gotta get, get you effective and get you going. And so she wakes up at 6.30 in the morning, but she's gotta get ready. So she's gotta get showered, her hair, her makeup, get dressed, everything. Then but she then has exercise after getting ready. Exercise, she's got breakfast, and then they have a morning class. And typically in the morning classes, you're learning a lot of the scriptures, but she's also learning a lot with the scriptures and with the language. So she's learning it in a new language. So. That would be that much harder. So that's her morning, right? She has that and then she has lunch. And then it's study again. And then it's an afternoon class. And the classes are, they get together with their group of missionaries. So there's like probably 12 of them in the room and they're, they're all yeah. studying together. And then they have their independent study. And then she has a companion that they study to and for, the, just the two of them. So lots and lots of study throughout so the day. So her group is called a district. We're yeah. gonna get you the lingos, the yeah. terms. The There's a district which is about like 12 to 14 missionaries. So, so they break them up into smaller groups so, so it's easier. So that group always stays together and learns kind of together. Instead of, there's like, I think 250 missionaries where she's at right now, but it can hold 600 people, um, 600 missionaries. Because of COVID, they're doing they're, they're, social they're, distancing. Yeah, like it's, that, not so. a, it's not at full capacity. But, um, so she stays with her group of like, 10, 12 people. Yeah, at all times. Then they get together with bigger groups and stuff like that. For, for meetings, activities but, or um, yeah. uh, exercise, they'll sometimes mix with other groups. But then she has dinner after all that studying. And we asked her on the phone the other day what was one of the meals that she liked. And she really liked the pizza. She said the pizza was really, really good. So hopefully when she comes home, she can share that recipe with well, us. Well, I think in my letter, <laughs> like it goes pizza. more about the pizza. So oh, I'll tell you more about that. We have that. different letters? We have different oh. letters because I wrote her separately. Okay. And then she gets ready and goes to bed. And that's by about 1030 is when she goes to bed. So 630, 1030, immersive. That's awesome. She's going to be able to be fluent in Spanish in no time. The other part I picked out of this letter was that um, she can read and understand and write a lot because of what she's been doing. Um, and then some exciting news that she's been called to be a leader in her district. So what she well, gets to do is she just has more responsibilities. Not over her district. She's over the whole... A zone. The whole it's area. Zone, the two hundred, the what? No, I think she said it was like 50 or 100 people. Yeah, which are... So a zone is like five so, districts. Yeah, it's a bunch of people. <laughs> so you have yourself, your companion, yeah. your district, a zone, multiple districts and multiple zones and it's just so her and her companion are both equal leaders over this zone yeah. which is over a district which is five districts <laughs> of around 50 missionaries total and so what that means for her is that she really needs to look out for them and if they need help she needs to help them she needs to befriend them yep. and just be there for the others so she says teach set an example and befriend yeah at least that's what she thinks it is. She's gonna learn more about it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out in the next letter what that means. And that's really what it is. You're, you're really just there to help. And and because there's the teachers, but you know, if you have one teacher for every 15 students, she's there to help make it a lot easier. And those things are assigned. She didn't like ask for it. You don't request it. It just gets assigned to different people. Yep. And then she went through and talked about just some of the meetings that she's had. 
But I wanted to end my part with this, and it just says, um, I do I do want to mention that it's not always 100% happiness at all time. So she says there have been some really hard moments, but they are just moments. She says they eventually pass. And then she, I really like this, and I think this is good advice for all of us. She says, in life, we will all face challenges and hard times. If you are struggling right now, know that I am praying for you and that God is with you. It is a moment, no matter how long, it will pass. So I thought that was really, really cool. So I really like that too, because oftentimes when we're in a moment, it can seem like it stretches on forever and it's never going to end. Because it in, it's, just encompasses everything that you're You, you can't get your mind on. off of anything else and it's hard to get out of that moment. So if you go through a bad times or a hard, difficult time, know that it will pass too. And what I always tell my kids is that usually when these hard times come, there's something so much better on the other end. And that's why you're experiencing the hard time. So just, if you can get through the hard time, you're gonna get something so much greater and you'll be like, wow, I'm glad I went through that because now I got this, yeah. which But you can't really crazy. say that until after you've gone through it. Yeah. while you're going through it, you're like, oh. Uh. Yeah, it just stinks while you're going through it and you hate it and it's hard and you don't know if you can make it, but you can because you're strong. So yep. you just have to do it and your rewards will come. You'll have something greater. Okay, so if you've noticed, there have been blurry faces on the screen because I didn't um, ask Jordan if she got permission to show some of the, her other district members, the other missionaries, so I blurred their faces. Um, you'll see Jordan's face, <laughs> but not theirs because I don't have permission. I don't feel great about sharing those. <laughs> yeah, without permission. Without permission. Okay, so some of the things I asked her is, I wanted to know about her apartment. What is it like? And she said her apartment that her and the sisters stay in are like dorms. So think of a college dorm that's just a basic. I think there's six sisters in her little dorm building. And I think there's like three bedrooms and two people are in each bedroom. She says the bathroom in our house feels kind of like a public bathroom, <laughs> but not. Because there's six people using it. So yeah. you've got like... All the supplies of your hair and makeup. Yeah, are you gonna leave your stuff out on the counter? or who's gonna clean it. Like these are things you have to work out when you live with other people, especially people that you don't know very well at the beginning, right? Like you've gotta figure out, is it okay to leave my shampoo there? Or, and then who there's six bottles of shampoo. Left toothpaste in the sink. <laughs> exactly, who did clean up? There's things to be worked out. She says there's two bathroom stalls, two sinks and two showers in their bathroom, in their dorm. That's kind of interesting because when I think of a little house, I think of like just a normal house bathroom, but this is more like a dorm. Gotta remember, it's, it's like a dorm. Quantity. Okay, <laughs> so she says, surprisingly, there haven't been any problems so far with bathroom schedules. Seriously, a miracle because we have six girls total in our little house. So yeah, it's <laughs> for six girls to get ready in a little bathroom. I it now. <laughs> it works. <laughs> No, she says, and luckily they give you from 9 to 10.30 at night to get ready for bed, so I have plenty of time to take long showers if I want to. And she likes to take long showers. Yeah, it's good, that's awesome. Okay, going back to the pizza that David talked about earlier, she said the food is really good. The pizza was just like normal American Costco pizza, but it just tastes so good since I haven't had traditional food in a while. You know, so, after a long time, McDonald's even starts to taste really good. Yeah. So she was excited. Pizza is apparently the favorite night of all the missionaries there is to have the pizza. And yes, it's not some fabulous Italian pizza, but it's yummy nonetheless. Anyway, she says she likes Mexican food. We already knew that. Our whole family loves Mexican food. We told her she's gonna be eating so good on her mission. <laughs> We're jealous. Um, so like they have lasagna, quesadillas, chicken, chili dogs, cereal, soup, fruit salad, and etc. etc. She says it changes every day, but it's not too exotic. It just tastes different than here in America because it's prepared a little bit different. Um, be healthier. <laughs> <laughs> probably as healthier That's than like, how we. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> So I, I think it's just like normal type food. It's nothing that's gonna be fabulous or exotic. I think when she first went, she was hoping to taste some exotic me Mexican fruit. And that, that might probably, so far it hasn't happened. She wants to try some, but we'll see. Okay, she says, 
For me, once I hit the pillow, I fall asleep pretty fast. I think it's the same for everyone else. Which is not like how she was here. No, it she wasn't. She lay in bed just with her eyes open. Just but she does say that the girls do like to gather before bedtime and sit and chat. Little <laughs> so chit chat. They have to make sure that they try to wrap that up, which is really hard. Because <laughs> they have a little bit of a problem with chatting. They get along so well. She says all the girls in her district are really best friends. It's going to be hard to say goodbye. And she has mentioned that it's going to be very hard to say goodbye. She says her classes are good. They have two classes, like David said. The morning class is really chill. And the afternoon one is the more challenging and focused one. And it's hardcore Spanish. Because she has to speak Spanish fluently after being there for a month. She has to be able to go have a conversation with anyone, which is like, Hola. my blowing. <laughs> ah. But she can do it. She says the teachers are really good at making it fun and having us play games and dance a lot to keep us engaged. I love both the teachers. They're really nice and patient with our district. Um, so then she also says, we do everything with our district. So classes, meals, and sports are all with the district. Luckily, the, although there are a lot of very different strong personalities, we've all been able to get along pretty well. And that's really good for the first week because you're meshing a lot of different people who do have per different personalities and who were raised different ways and they have to learn how to live with each other and be around each other like almost constantly. Yeah. Her day is with these same people for a long time. So it works. It's good. She's doing so good. She wouldn't want to be anywhere else. She loves being a missionary. She has said every time we talk to her, I love being a missionary. I love being a missionary. I love it. I love being here. So she is very happy and she's doing very good. And we're happy for her. And we are and very happy. And she says happy. to say hi to you guys. So. Yeah. Uh. So she loves you guys and she wants you to just know to hang in there with this letter to hang in there and get through the hard times if you're experiencing them and you can do it. Yep. And can't wait to share with you the next letter. Yep, all right, that's it for this week's update. And we hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Bye.